There was, our Torah portion tells us, a cloud that hovered over the Jewish people as they journeyed through the desert. And the Torah tells us that when it lifted, that was a sign that it was time to move on. And when it stopped and it would hover, then the Jewish people would know, now is the time to rest. And you have to ask yourself, why on earth do I need to know about this? It's one thing to be told about the various different encampments, the different interactions, the different episodes as they transpired, but do I, do I really need to know about their GPS, their cloud tracking system that indicated when they should rest and when they should travel? Yet I think herein lies a compelling message for all of us. You see, we inhabit two kinds of time. There's real time and there's in between time. In real time, we're pursuing our lives, we're pursuing our careers, our relationships, our families, our social interactions. In between time is when we're stuck in an airport, we're sitting in a doctor's office, we're waiting in traffic and so on and so forth. And we're told that the real challenge is to always maximize real time and keep the in-between time to a bare minimum. The problem is, all of our time essentially becomes in-between times because as teenagers we believe, ah, when I graduate, that's when life is really gonna begin. No sooner do we graduate than we tell ourselves, ah, I need to get a degree first. And when we get the degree, we think, okay, now all I need is a job and then my life is good. You get the job and you think to yourself, it's not ideal, I have to start saving so I can build up my startup and then eventually when everything will take off, life is great. And no sooner does that happen, you think to yourself, I'm lonely, I now need a spouse in order to be able to really find fulfillment in life. And you do that and then your friends tell you when you have your first child, you'll understand what life is all about and it pretty much always carries on from there. You see, at every stage in life, we're preparing for the next stage. So when is it really the right time to start living? When is the right time to be content, to be fully focused, to be happy, and to feel that I have reached my destination? If all of our time is nothing other than in between time, preparing for the next phase, so when do we stop? When do we smell the roses? The cloud in the desert was a GPS, if you will, God's positioning system. It reflected a reality there were times to move on and there were times to pause. There were times to consolidate. There were times when you had to move on to the next stage towards your promised land and times when you just simply have to stop on your journey and breathe and invest in the moment. And God determined for the Jewish people then when that was to be. But the same reality exists for us no less today as well. If we devote a portion of time to a certain task, whether it's a mere minute or an entire day, we need to be totally invested in what we're doing as if there exists nothing else in the world at that moment in time. Obviously, we need to make distinctions between more or lesser important things, between means and ends, between journeys and destinations. But in whatever you are involved in, you're never just getting it done or getting over with it. You have to be in the moment. When you're with your family, no calls, no checking the internet. When you're out with your significant other, no emails, no WhatsApps. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, live in the moment. No world, no background noise, no distractions. Those few verses in the Torah teach us, don't wait to be happy till you reach all of your destinations because the journey itself is an integral part of the destination. Start celebrating life right here, right now, because life is what happens when you're busy making other plants. Shabbat Shalom.